Hey everyone, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies and this incredibly relaxing music, The Calm Before the Storm. So, proper description of what we've got here, excuse me for a second. This is the lily pad. Let's see, let's say. Let you plant nine aquatic plants on top of it. Gee, I wonder what we have in the next level. Looks like those zombies gave up attacking your front yard. Now they're trying for your backyard. And to top it off, you can't even use your shroom, your mushrooms. Because they fall asleep during the day. Wasn't that just dandy? Heh, <laughs> dandy, like a dandelion, get it? So yeah, the mushrooms, including this, the most awesome shroom ever, is not going to do me a damn bit of good here. Alright, so now we have two necessities. Lily pads, because we have to defend the middle level as well. As well as our sun... Ugh. Sunflowers, not sun shrooms. Cherry bombs, walnuts... Pea shooter... Snow pea... Uh... There's really not a lot I can actually do yet. <laughs> I guess I should be grateful for that. I don't have to think too hard. So this will be... We have our first instance of the uh, zombie with the little rubber ducky. I can't point to it with the mouse. But yeah, that's what we have to look forward to. They will use... I guess zombies can't swim. Makes sense. So they have inflatable little rubber duckies to get to us instead. I can't tell if the ducky's supposed to look like a zombie as well or not. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. Also, you notice I have lawnmowers for the pool. That's not really going to help. Because as you might guess, lawnmowers don't go very far in pools. There will be a solution to that later on. Alright, let's get started. Come on, I need sun faster. We're getting through. This ain't good. See, this is how I usually pull up play a level. I don't worry about throwing down potato mines or anything. I just go straight for the permanent solution. And eventually everything will work out just fine for me. I've almost got my first row of sunflowers totally done. Oh crap, I didn't see him appearing down there. That's not good. I wish I had the money for one. Or the sun for one, rather. So, I'll go ahead and lay down next set of lily pads. I don't know how soon until they start to right about now, isn't it? Not quite yet. Good. Go ahead and put that there, because I'm going to need that. I set that too far back for my taste. Oh well. This will work for now. Let's get some more sun out. I want to go and get my lily pads established if I can. I have some form of coverage on most of my rows at least, so that's not too bad. Oh crap, I'm gonna need another set for... Oh, damn it. Ugh, I forget how many of these I usually end up planting. It's been a while since I've actually played, like, this entire game, not just since I last played those nighttime levels. Give me my money. Okay, we are going to go ahead and put a snow pea there. Please don't eat that. I just thought I might have put that too close, maybe. We'll see. Oh, hurry up and take him down. Yes! 
It worked. I'm a genius. Alright, these back ones I'm not too worried about. I'm just gonna dig them up and replace them. That was the plan the whole time anyways. He just... Did he... That one died kind of funny. I'm going to watch that and record it again. So... If I want to have my perfect setup, I need to plant lily pads up to here, and then I should be good. stay much of a chance. I get this up, and he won't stand any chance at all. I'm going to put one up in the meantime. Snoopy. Okay. Now you guys should be able to see about what I'm going for with my defense. The only problem is that the wall will not take forever to charge. These are not as well protected, so I'm going to start digging stuff up and replacing them with repeaters. It really didn't matter because it's just the first level, but I gotta keep that in mind. I never did plant that last sunflower. Whatever. And, yeah. I didn't even have to use the cherry bomb. Money. Money, money, money. Squash. That's what this one is. Squash. Squash is awesome. Squash does exactly what the name implies. Squash is zombies. He is a one-time use item, but so worth it. He is a great emergency item. He doesn't do the destruction of the cherry bomb. He will take down sometimes a group of zombies if they pile up. And uh, unlike the potato mine, which can only take out one enemy, he can take out as many as there. He's an instant use item, does not have to be charged up. That's why he costs a little bit more. He also takes a while to charge. So keep that in mind. I think I'm going to stick to pretty much my same setup as last time. I am going to be sacrificing cherry bombs, which I'm not sure if I want to do because I have bucket heads and those as well. Uh, I guess I can live without the repeaters. So we'll go with standard peas, snow peas, and cherry bombs on top of the squash for my new emergency item. I think I can make this work. Let's find out. And I am so amazingly broke right now, I don't even have enough for a new seed slot. I'm gonna hold off on playing the lily pads for now. And that right there is why. And you're dead. Just like that. So, let's see. Gotta think about what I'm doing here. I wonder if I've missed any money. I keep, the more I play this, the more I find myself thinking, am I going to make all the same mistakes Tim did? Well, I got the first row of sunflowers down at least. about getting defense up here rather than getting the next set of sunflowers there. Because to get sunflowers on the pool you're actually spending 75 instead of just 50 and early on that extra 25 makes all the difference. Haven't 
can't demonstrate squash yet. That's a good thing. Alright. Now I have a basic defense. But it won't hold worth a damn once the football zombie shows up. So I need to get Snowpeas out. I need to go and start playing. Oh, hello, Gift. Minigames unlocked. I will be showing those off momentarily. Football players, fortunately, they never show up on the water. Right now, the water is probably your least concern, but it will become your top priority later on. Because there are certain special zombies that show up that make your life a complete and total living hell. Sometimes we do get cone heads and bucket heads on the water level. So actually, I take back what I just said. They're a problem right now as well. Okay, to hell with it. Should be more or less protected now. Now, if I can just throw these snow peas up here as well. Actually, a huge wave of zombies is coming. This is. Bet you a football player comes. Really? None? I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm even bothering to move my mouse over the sun when I can just click a button and it comes right to me. Force of habit, I guess. Oh, we have Grandpa Zombie. That is the slowest and angriest Grandpa I have ever seen. relaxing music during a zombie apocalypse. So happy and cheerful while zombies are trying to make their way to eat your brains. That's... I don't know. I mean, it's good music. It's just funny. This entire game is funny. It's just so cartoony and silly. That's what I like about it. That's a lot of angry old men. I wonder if they ever play anything else other than Sudoku. So I'm pretty much not getting even concerned about my defense now. Oh, here we go. Football player. Bye. Huge wave. This is it for this round. Might as well use the cherry bot to take out some of it. Yeah, they like to immerse them. Um, I think my batteries just ran out. That figures. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that interruption. You guys will probably be seeing that reconnect your battery reconnect your controller thing from time to time. It happens. 
I think this is the first time I've actually had to replace batteries in this controller, and that should tell you about how it's nice. And now I'm re using rechargeables, which probably means I'll be him to replace them even more often. Yeah, you're going down now. How many are there here? It looks like two. Or is it just one by now? Oh, it is just one, okay. Let's end this now. Okay, here's an interesting one. You uh, tell me if you think it's worth it or not. I don't care for it. This is three, Peter. Shoots peas into three lanes. This is useful to save um, item space, but personally, I don't like it. It's just me. I don't care for it. I'll demonstrate for the hell of it. And you can see um, one of these little assholes now has a snorkel. This is Scuba Steve. Take a while guess what he does. He submerges himself and moves through the pool. Your plants can't hit him. You have to plant basically a walnut or anything in his way for him to come up and eat before he can be hit. Scuba Steve is one of the reasons that the pool becomes a little bit harder to defend. Alright, Sunflower, Pea Shooter, uh, Walnut. And I guess I'll be demonstrating the three, Peter. I don't really like not having cherry bombs. Well, eh, yeah, might as well go this way. Bet you I don't get enough saved up to demonstrate the damn thing. And it begins. Couldn't let me get all of my sunflowers down on land first, could you? Oh, that's too much to ask for. I'm gonna die in a hole. Why am I stealing Cheddar Conroy's lines? He hasn't said that in a long time. Yeah, you can tell who I'm subscribed to. Zombie moving across the lawn did not escape my gaze. Yet. Ah, oh, crap, I got sneeze. That's gonna be edited out. One more. Alright. I think I can live with this. We'll see. And right here and here, probably the best place is to put three Peters, so I'm going to save those areas. No, I really don't want to. Maybe I can get it in time for this guy. Probably not. I guess so. Yeah, that was the time. And I'll get one up here as well. Now I'll put snow peas in front of everything like usual. And then my walnuts. So like I said, these are good for like saving space. So now I don't have to have anything really firing here, here, or here, because that covers all those rows. But if you're extremely OCD, it probably doesn't really help much. And I'm more concerned about getting 
defense up here first whenever those stupid scuba zombies start showing up. Scuba Steve may look cool, but that doesn't mean I like him. One thing I guess that's nice is I can plant snow peas back further here now. Get me? Yeah, that's what you think. Especially if I do. Ah, crap! I'm not gonna get up in time. Yes, I did it. Oh wow! Just in time. Yes, yeah, squash plus little lip has a great way to deal with some of those guys. Yeah, I'm not Jerry nearly. No sun for my tail. Get a few more of those out. Yeah, sorry, I'm sniffling a little bit after that sneeze, so sorry if you can hear that. And that's a little bit disgusting to know. See, this is what happens when you start doing commentary and you run out of things to talk about. Steve, hurry up and die. Alright, that ship moved me up to the final wave. Oh, do I really need the extra protection? These I'm probably never going to use again. I showed them for the first demonstration, just like the choppers. Actually, I take that back. I'll be using it for um, the last pool level, which as you probably figured out by this point, is a conveyor belt level. Okay, to hell with this. I was hoping that would get two of them. I don't even know what I'm up to money-wise. All right, here we go. Take a look, help. I love this one, and I might have enough for the next seed slot. We shall see. But yes, take a look, help. Aquatic plant that pulls zombies underwater. It's instant use, one-time shot, 25. It's it's a cheaper version of the squash, really, but it's for water only, and it takes just as long to recharge. On that note, I will see you guys in the next part.